My name is Rolando Gomez. I'm the Public Information Officer here at the Office for the High Commission for Human Rights. Uh, specifically, I'm charged with um, doing media relations and public relations for the Human Rights Council. It's uh, the intergovernmental body that we service, the office uh, services. We serve as a secretariat for the for the, uh, higher, for the Human Rights Council, uh, which has been up and running for just over six years now. Uh, in fact, we've just come out of a session, so you're catching me at the tail end of a, what was in fact the heaviest session of the Council in six-year uh, history. Uh, my day-to-day -day role when it comes to uh, speaking for the Council is in keeping in line with rather uh, keeping journalists up to speed on, on the daily activities of the Council. And uh, now with the changing f ways of the media, we're also doing a lot of social media these days, so I'm also overlooking that, the website, and certainly the idea is to uh, to enhance the visibility of this uh, this fairly new intergovernmental uh, body. Go into my office now so that we can send out the as adopted text on Sri Lanka, which was just adopted by vote 24 in favor, uh, 8 abstention and 15 against, if you want to comment. The UN is there to, to help and assist, and it has achieved tremendous uh, milestones in its, in its 67 years. And I've moved around quite a lot. Uh, i have uh, practically a native New Yorker. I was born in Peru, but moved to New York when I was three. While I miss New York very much, I miss the States very much, I was drawn to the UN, not only with this sort of romantic notion about working in media and film and traveling around the world, but to see as much of the planet as I can. And I have had the opportunity to live on five continents. I've been very, you know, very, very lucky in that regard. Human rights is not an easy business. Uh, unlike humanitarian work where the UN is building schools and roads and hospitals, concrete, tangible things, human rights is slightly different. But uh, firstly, I think we have to do our best to just to highlight the importance of knowing what their rights are, raising awareness and ensuring that those uh, rights are respected in working with governments, NGOs, civil societies, uh, journalists among others, anyone in, in, uh, in a part of society. Uh, they all have an equal voice and this is something that I'm proud of actually working with the council is that it does provide a space to hear these views. It's not just the council, it's other, other bodies that the, uh, the UN supports and works with.